What increases the value of the home? My name is Chris Crone. This is one of my commercial buildings. Check out this fireplace. I paid $30,000 for this fireplace. Does that make this building worth $30,000 more? Or what about these custom benches that I had installed? I paid a lot of money for this. Does that increase the value? Today, I'm going to share with you five things that do not increase the value of your home. I'm also gonna share with you five things that can make you a lot of money in real estate by increasing the value. Check it out. One, 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 one shot, now the future for sure, let's go. I'm turning dreams into reality, yeah. It's one, all, one shot, now the future for sure, let's go. Welcome to Chris Crow's Home Improvement Show. Not, we're talking about how you increase the value of your house. And some of you are wondering, Chris, Am I gonna to have to put an addition on the house? Maybe. Today we're gonna to play a game and the winners have money on the line. I'm gonna share with you five things that potentially could increase the value of your home. If you guess them correct, you win. If you don't, you lose. And in reality, if you guess wrong, instead of making $10,000, you might only make a Benjamin. What increases the value of a home? Let's start with every woman's fantasy. A new kitchen. Check it out. This is the old functional kitchen. It's got yellow paint. It's kind of ugly. Looks like some Formica and definitely some dated cupboards. But if you rip all of that out and drop $30,000 on the new kitchen with granite new cupboards that looks beautiful, will that actually increase the value of the home? And the answer is no, actually remodeling your kitchen does not increase the value of your home. Does that shock you a little bit? Let me explain why. Believe it or not, upgrading your kitchen can do nothing more than increase the perceived value of the home. But the house is going to appraise by an official appraiser for the same amount, no matter what. Think about it. Let's say someone actually dropped $30,000 on new cabinets but someone else spent $80,000. Does that actually make the house $50,000 more because you paid more in cabinets? No, you are not going to get a return on that investment. In fact, it's no different than this. Imagine that you install a $400,000 gold throne that you sit your hiney on when you take a dump. If you go to sell that house and it comes with the gold toilet, you cannot add $400,000 to the price tag of the house. No bank's gonna accept that. No appraiser's gonna accept that. It doesn't change the value. The number two way to increase the value of your home could be new landscaping. I mean, I want you to imagine that you ripped everything out and you put in like cobbled driveways and you put in brand new plants. On my first house, I dumped $250,000 into landscaping. Do you think that that made my house worth $250,000 more? And the answer is no. No, actually the more money you spend on landscaping, it does not make your house more valuable. It only affects the perceived value. Listen, a super nice landscaping job might make your house the record fastest selling house on the block. Look at this, you could add accent lighting and flagstone walkways and grass barriers and shrubs and mulch and you could put some serious money there. At the end of the day, it's just going to make people think, I need to buy that house first because that idiot put all that money in there and I'm gonna get it all for free when I buy this thing. $10,000 is on the line and I don't think you're doing so hot, but hang in there, we've got three more questions. Let's see if you can figure out if this might increase the value of your home. Energy efficient up up upgrades. Uh, well, like insulating your water tank, right? Like, listen, listen, you could save seven to 16% on your you can't sell your house. You can, okay, well, listen, um, guys, replace all your light bulbs, right? LEDs, you can save 9% a year on your electrical bill. Um, yeah, uh, guys, you insulate your windows, storm proof them, save money on your electrical bill. I got news for you. It doesn't do anything to the value of your home. It only affects the perceived value. Now, I've said that three times, so listen what that means. Let's say that your house is only appraised at $300,000 and you've put in an extra $100,000 to make it the sweetest, nicest, dopest, gold-foiled house on the planet. It's not worth $400,000. It can only sell faster at $300,000 because no bank cares how much money you paid 
for your stupid upgrades. I'm starting to get depressed like nobody's gonna win this money. Can you do this next one for me? What about number four, minor repairs, right? Like surely if there are scratches and there's dings and squeaks and dents and maybe I touch up and the door frames a little bit, will that increase the value of my house? Listen, you tell me. At this point, you gotta be catching on. None of those things matter. The buyer of the house cares, but the appraiser doesn't, the bank doesn't. And so at the end of the day, no matter how much money you put into that thing, that's what you call a money pit. And this is where people blow it in real estate all the time, is that they're fixing up things that don't actually give them an ROI or a return on their investment. As in, hey, I put 30 grand in the new kitchen, will I get that back? Well, dollar for dollar, you might get that back. You might be up a couple thousand dollars here. Some things you're gonna be down a couple of grand, and certainly on these kind of things. These are just things that the market requires if you wanna sell this house to a reasonable buyer. Now don't worry, it's not all doom and gloom. I promise you in the next couple of minutes, I am gonna show you five things that you can do that can massively increase the value of your home and help you actually turn your real estate into a lot more money. But first, let's talk about the fifth and final, which is repainting the house. Will repainting the house increase the value of the property? Almost feels like a joke right now. Check it out, Zillow actually did say this. Homes with soft gray blue kitchens actually sell for $1,800 more. Guys, it's not 10 grand. Do you know what it costs to repaint your kitchen? Listen, you're gonna pay a professional that much money, so you're not gonna get money out of it. But technically, a light pale blue to soft periwinkle blue bathrooms go for $5,400 more. You might have a little bit of an ROI if you put some periwinkle in the bathroom. Periwinkle. Listen, Zillow's basically saying that painting can matter like an itty bitty 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 bitty. At the end of the day, is it worthwhile? Is this the tens of thousands? Is this the twenties of thousands that I was hoping for? No, it's not. In the first part of this video, what I wanted to do was really teach you the difference between actual value versus perceived value because this is something not a lot of people actually really understand in the game of real estate. You need to understand that all the things that you do that make your house look nicer and look more glitterly and, 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 and look prettier, all of that is really just touching on the perceived value. An appraiser is gonna step in the home and their job is to determine the value. And they don't care if the carpet is newer or older. No, 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 Chris, you're not, you're not talking to them about fixing Hello, house. Hello, darkness, gotta, my old friend. Yeah, we can talk about fix and flips. Dude, let's, let's jam on fix and flips. There's people out there that will buy a house, they will renovate it, they'll fix it up, they'll dump a bunch of money in, and then they wanna sell it for more. And I'll tell you, there's the difference between people that are good at it and people that are bad at it. The people that are really rotten at fix and flips, they pretend emotionally like the house is theirs. They're inexperienced. They're gonna wanna put in granite, they're gonna wanna upgrade that house, they wanna drop in like brand new roof. But you know what the smart one will do? Bear it. What they're actually gonna do is they're gonna say, the other houses in the neighborhood that have sold in the last six months, what did they have in the kitchen? Oh, they had tile, they didn't have granite, we're only putting tile in, because if I put in granite, I'll pay more and I won't get that money out. A pro only adds the value to the home based on what everyone else is doing, because if you dump in more money, you ain't never gonna see that. All right, enough screwing around. How do you really increase the value on a home. I'm gonna share with you five ways that I know how to do that. Number one, add a room. Like, you understand that self-driving cars are on the way. Please cage in the kitchen. Please make sure your seat belt is fast. Some people might be ditching their garages and converting those into extra rooms. And extra rooms will increase the value of your home. Similarly, you might have a partial finished home. You might have a basement, you might have an attic. If there's a way to convert that into livable space, guess what that will also do? that can massively increase the value of your home. Number two, did you know that you could actually create earnings on a home by just renting out a room? Heck, you could even rent the whole house. And for a lot of people, it's not a matter of selling. If you need to keep it, why not rent it? If you've ever clicked the link below and picked up a free copy of this book, I show you how to take any home and instead of renting it, make twice as much money doing a rent to own or something called a lease option. 
It's where you basically put a family in the home that gives you a stack of cash up front and they basically say, we're gonna pay a superior rent, you're probably gonna make a lot more money and it's because in two or three years, we actually wanna have the option to buy the house. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, get this book for free, just click the link below and it's yours. The fourth thing that you can do is actually keep the home but go to the bank and pull out some of the equity. If it's worth more than you owe, the bank might be able to cut you a check for some of that money and you can use it to buy more real estate. Right now, the best way to increase the value of real estate, frankly, is to go and buy more. And for most people down the road, their biggest regret looking back, they wish they had bought more real estate because real estate over time is one of your best asset classes. Number five, not very different, instead of accessing the home and its equity, you could literally sell the home and then go buy a whole bunch more. And guess what? In today's current economy, most people are equity rich. If you've bought real estate in the last five or 10 years, there's a really good chance it's worth a whole lot more than you paid for it. And now might be the time to say, you know what? I'm gonna cash out, especially in this buyer's market, and I'm gonna go and buy a whole lot more real estate and multiply my wealth. By the way, if it seems a little nerve wracking to go to the bank and actually pull some money out of your house or to sell it for a big wad, you might be thinking, yeah, Chris, I don't know if I'm really in a position to know how to go out and buy multiple homes to build wealth. Well, truth is, I am. I've bought 4,500 homes over the last decade, a billion dollars worth of real estate. Most of that has been with my real estate partners and I've helped them make a ton of money. So you've got to ask yourself, are you trying to increase the value of your home or are you trying to make as much money as possible? And if you're trying to make as much money as possible, do one of two things. Click the link below, get this book for free and learn how to do it yourself, or click the other link below and talk about partnering with me where I can take you into those markets and show you how to actually get your money earning 25 to 30% each year. Hey, thank you so much for watching today's video. Did you know right now that house prices are jumping through the roof right now through the pandemic? Do you know what they're slated to do for the next 12 months? Click this video, let me share with you the crazy thing that's happening in real estate because if you understand it, you're definitely wanna gonna buy a lot more real estate. You're definitely gonna wanna buy? You said definitely. Wanna gonna buy. Wanna gonna buy. It's yeah, okay. it sounds It's okay. Don't get it. You're definitely wanna gonna buy more real estate. Let's go with it.